For months, WIBW has been following a shocking story out of Junction City. A church minister accused of molesting young boys over the course of several years. The case of Jordan Young has been repeatedly delayed as the state waited on DNA results from the Kansas Bureau of Investigation. Evidence prosecutors say is critical. There are a lot of things they have to go through and we need that before we can come to a resolution of this case. It's an important case. KBI Deputy Director Kyle Smith said the 100 samples submitted in the Jordan Young case are in the final stage of testing. And he admits it's taking too long for the agency to issue forensic reports. It is a state of Kansas public safety issue. And I think it is a, a, an embarrassing situation that we've gotten to the point that our forensic capacity is so limited that local agencies, sheriffs and police and the victims are having to wait weeks, months, years before they get results. The KBI is facing physical limitations at their headquarter lab here on Southwest Tyler in Topeka, located in the basement of a 1928 school building. Besides less than ideal conditions, officials say there's simply no more room to add additional scientists. So we're really, really cramped, and that makes it an inefficient operation. Plus, Smith says lower state pay in a competitive environment contributed to a 14% turnover of scientists each of the past three years. There's no doubt that these issues have trickled down to the local jurisdictions. We did a survey last spring of our partners and the law enforcement community. They reported 41% of them had cases they had where they had either dismissed or reduced charges because they couldn't get lab reports in time. We know the demands that are placed on the KBI and not uh, just by Geary County. There are 105 counties in Kansas that deal with the very same problem. The KBI is working to get pay raises for scientists. Meanwhile, the governor's budget proposal included initial funding for a new lab to be built on Washburn University's campus. It would allow the KBI to hire more scientists who would work in a state-of-the-art facility, hopefully improving retention rates. These demands aren't going to decrease. They're only going to increase. And juries expect to see and hear this kind of evidence. Smith says the goal is for the KBI to turn reports in 30 to 60 days so victims see justice and closure more quickly. Lindsay Rogers, 13 News.